in an online classroom, such as Pearson English Interactive and other courses that have a teacher of learning management system, the teacher can choose the activities that best suit each student. In addition, I have tried to create different uses for people who are not active in the classroom so that students can choose an appropriate level of challenge. Differentiated instruction targeting students at different levels of achievement, interest and engagement, communication styles, and learning styles is one of the most persistent challenges facing teachers. For example, each Pearson English Interactive unit has about 30 different learning activities and the teacher can choose the appropriate level for each student that in 10 or 12 activities in the unit the best suits a student or group. For example, focusing simply on listening, speaking and pronouncing, requiring students to learn more in their free time can be a big effort if they don't do what you ask them to do or worse. If some do and others don't, to overcome this obstacle, it is important to start slowly and give good guidance. For example, if you use additional videos for your class, the first task might simply be to allow students to access the video, watch the first minute, and write a new vocabulary word. Michael Rost, lead author of Pearson English Interactive, has been involved in language teaching, learning technologies and research on language learning for over 25 years. For every subject we teach, especially language instruction, students must review, repeat, and reflect outside the classroom this year in this latest article in his series of four. Author Mike Ross discusses the advantages, challenges, and the do's and don'ts of a blended learning course with his students. In a 90-minute class, he usually had six to eight short activities and changed groups frequently to keep students active and get to know all his classmates. During the classes, I asked my students to copy the chalkboard dialogues into their estimated notebooks and practice the dialogues at home before the next lesson it was a very successful extension of the course. In the next class, you model the exact behavior watch the video if you can, watch the first minute together, and then ask for new vocabulary the students have heard. I taught general English courses in large Japanese university classes, where there were real beginners as well as students who had lived in Great Britain, the United States or Australia, where they had spent all their school time and learned English fluently. It was a challenge, at the very least, to choose the most appropriate course material, to plan classroom activities that challenged everyone, and to create a classroom culture where everyone felt welcome.